What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcast across girls, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are reacting to the Saints Magic Powers Omnipotent. If you like anime reactions, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, so you can be notified on the next upload. We are reacting to the Saints Magic Power is Omnipotent, episode one. And I am going to sit in this episode, this video, this video, this first video of reacting to this anime that I will call this anime, the Saints Magic Power is OP because Omnipotent is a kind of long word and I just want to shorten it to OP. I know OP stands for overpower, but Omnipotent has an O and a P in it. I think it works. So the Saints Magic Power is OP, episode one. Let's get to it. I'm so excited. Like, you guys don't know how excited I am for this. Like, I'm very excited. <laughs> okay, here we see some smoke going on. Is it the miasma? And that's Jerk Prince over there. Looking kind of girly with that outfit. Look a bit feminine, I'm just saying. And those are like the magicians. Uh, that's the king. You know, the prince and the king have like the same red hair. Yep, the miasma. Mm hmm. Journey into a monster. Okay. Brought in the title was like so delicate with that bell ding ding. And here's our protagonist. She's a workaholic, she works hard. And there's the plants that she likes to take care of, her hobby. more indications of her hobby they are setting a tone they are giving they are giving hints oh they're called mages not magicians mages And the prince's grand entrance. Look at the way he walks. And he only does it to one girl! Why are you explaining that to her? She's pissed off!
Okay, I gotta just point out, I really like how they're portraying how mad she is. Like, she is pissed off. And I'm gonna explain why she's pissed off. I know, pretty sure that they're gonna explain it in the anime. But she's pissed off because the prince went to the other girl, assumed she was the saint, and then just left our protagonist, say, in the dust. You know, she's neglected. She got left behind. She is seen not as important. And then she's got all these people explain to her okay this is why you're summoned you're you're important we're gonna need you and she's like uh-uh i don't think i'm important y'all have been neglecting me no send me back home and they're like uh about that oh she's more pissed off she's like okay i get summoned i'm not treated very well and you can't send me back home yeah i would be mad too i would be mad too Oh, that's interesting. Okay, the part that I said was interesting is, so when I read the manga, when she was talking about how she wants to live outside of the palace, like she doesn't want to stay in the palace, they were sort of threatening her. So when I say threatening, they said, well, you can live outside, but it's really dangerous. There's monsters out there. You're going to need protection. And if you're going to go on your own, you're not going to survive. And she's like, fine, I'll stay. That's how it was. The guy who was explaining that to her didn't have that like sweat drop, that nervousness sweat drop thing going on. He just had like, this is how it is. I'm going to use my political wits to keep you here. So that's interesting how they kind of like changed it a bit in that scene. So two after two weeks. She's bored. Yep, I think they're doing it on purpose. They forgot about you. Going to the garden, she's going to the garden. She didn't go to the garden. person
medicinal herbs used to craft potions and research. I like how he's explaining it. Like he's getting more detailed about making the potions. Yes, we do! We'll see you again, Jude. Cause she's not cooped up in there anymore. to be your official researcher. So that was really smooth how they introduced how she's gonna live at the Institute. It led to her becoming a researcher. I believe in the manga, she was a researcher first, and she was always visiting, and then she lived there. But they're using the living location to be to get her to become a researcher. Yep, they work fast. I don't remember this maid. I don't think she was that prominent in the manga. a lot nicer. That guy with the glasses, when I was reading manga, he was reminding me of the guy from Abandoned Empress, the guy with green hair. If you don't know what Abandoned Empress is, check it out.
love that they're doing the detailed process of making a potion. Imbue it with magic power! She's like, how do you do that? No, cause you're summoned! So this is an indication telling me that it seems everybody can use magic. She's like, are you sure? Positive. show up? How did he know when to show up? <laughs> he like showed up like just in time. It's sort of like he knows. He's watching her. He's always watching her. That's why he's there just in time. When I read the manga, I, I didn't think about that, but now I am. <laughs> Five times more effective. them. They're progressing the story because the manga, the chapters were like not really long. So these are a series of chapters.
three months later. I like how he was teasing her. I think that's her high grade potion. Show all the injured people. Make this look important. These potions are needed. Okay, so if you guys aren't, uh, don't get what's happening. So the other girl, she is the official saint because Prince Kyle thinks that she is the saint. And they're training and such. Now, this Order of Knights, they went to a part of the forest that was highly populated with miasma where there are dangerous monsters and such. It is a urgent area like this place needs to be worked on but prince kyle he's worried about the saint he doesn't want her to be put in danger he doesn't want her to see the horrific scenes the ones that the knights were talking about he's babying her but she's needed as they said that she does have the power with the to clear out the miasma she does have the power to help them but because she wasn't there all these knights took the brunt of the damage because there is no saintess to help them out. When she could have helped, but no, she's in the easy area. Wait, these are credits? Is this the end of the episode? No. -uh. What oh, is? Kind of. So this is the captain. Captain Hawk. really dramatic with him not drinking. It's 
because it's her high grade potion, it fully healed him. Like he had a lot of damage on him. Like he was on the brink of death. According to a higher up. It could be because she's a saint. But yeah, it is too early to determine. Up, hold up let's go back let's go back to that scene where is that scene go back to that scene where is it did i like skip it already where is it where is it uh oh here we go here we go let's play it and then let's wait till we see that scene where is it huh, right there right there right there okay so in this scene remember when she was using the magic for the first time so they had the scene where they had that one magic form. It was kind of yellow, glowy, you know, and then they had another one that was more pinkish, purplish. So when I read the manga, that was not in there. Okay. It was not in there. Not that I remember. If it is, my bad. But I am going to look back on it later on. <laughs> I'm going to look back and see if it was there. But if I'm right that it wasn't there, then they are hinting that she is more than what she is early, like really early. Like they're hinting and they're they're fully hinting that she is the saintess. Fully. Even though this title over here is she is the protagonist, it's like, yeah, she's a saint. But there's two saints, right? There's two. There's two. There's no true. There's no inferior and superior there's two there, there are two saints they both have powers okay but i like how they're hinting at it in the beginning it is different from what i've seen in the manga what what i like about this story is what she does at the research institute i like seeing how her powers progress how she grows how her skills progress and she's doing it all at the institute she's not going out at an adventure slaying monsters getting that experience all of her experience is happening at the research institute and that was my reaction to the saint's magic power is omnipotent and as i said before in the intro we're going to call it op because omnipotent is like really long so we're just gonna say the saints magic power is op what did you think about this episode what did you think about this video let me know in the comments below and if you want to talk outside of youtube there is a discord discord link is available in the description and i also stream on twitch.tv slash lehuosuperfina people who watch these videos do like to stop by the stream talk about these videos the episodes the anime have that 101 real-time conversation you guys are more than welcome outside of twitch and youtube i also host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime manga and other things we're interested in if you like podcasts like that the link to the podcast is available in the description we are available on all platforms other than that my name is lehua and this was a superfina channel reacting to the saint's magic power is op episode one hope you guys like this video and i'll see you on the next one later Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. 
Hope to see you guys there, and I will see you on the next video. Fist bump.